In this tutorial, we will show what troubleshooting steps require to perform when detector shows too many bad device fault, no reply fault, type change fault, low output fault. First, we require to identify from which device address we are getting the fault through fault screen page in panel display. Now on panel display, we can see a device is in trouble with trouble code. So we can identify the detector is from which loop number and its address is what and its trouble code. We will start with too many bad device fault. Generally, we get too many bad device fault when there is duplicate address in same loop. Here we are getting fault from detector number 4. We need to change the address of one device and perform auto learn to rectify the fault. Now we will talk about no reply fault. No reply fault we generally get when the connections are not proper. Detector is not receiving required voltage from loop or detector base is faulty. To identify the exact reason, we need to perform some troubleshooting steps. To check further, we will go to device location where it is installed in loop. Now we are at device address location. Now remove the detector and check the base connections and voltage in in and out terminal. Voltage should be in between 19 to 24 volt DC. If connection and voltage are proper, install the detector back and then reset the panel to check if fault get cleared. If fault remains same, then install the detector on another location base where another detector is working fine and reset the panel to check if fault get cleared. That means there is a problem with base on which detector was installed earlier. So replace the faulty base. If issue persists, then call to our technical support number. Now I will talk about type change fault. Type change fault we generally get when detector actual type ID is mismatched with the type ID which it is programmed in panel. We will go to device location where it is installed in loop. Now we are at the device address location. Now remove the detector and check the type of the detector. For example, my detector is HMPTSE, then in panel it should be programmed as multi. If not, then remove the detector from base and auto learn the loop. This is to delete the detector from panel programming. Then install the detector again and auto learn the loop. Panel will accept the new type of detector. If issue persists, then call to our technical support number. Now we will talk about low output fault. Generally low output fault comes when dust is accumulated inside detector chamber. To check further, we will go to device location where it is installed in loop. Then remove the detector from base and open the detector cover and clean the chamber properly with the help of vacuum cleaner. After cleaning, fix the detector cover properly and install the detector back and then reset the panel to check if fault get cleared or not. If issue persists, then call to our technical support number. Explore our trainings and discover your potential. Visit www.honeywelldiscovertraining.com